everyone. It is time for my weekly whip and chat. It's 9.30 in the, well, morning, I was supposed to say, but uh, in the, yeah, what do you call that? The thing between morning and noon? Oh, well, we'll just say good morning. It's Monday, the 28th of October. And I have the whole week off together with my daughter because this week uh, we have, uh, yeah, they have a week off in school all over Sweden. So, and it's not that she's uh, young and can't, you know, take care of herself because she's, she can, she's 12 years. But... <coughs> I wanted to spend some time with her. Yes, so she's still sleeping, so she might wake up in the middle of this whip and chat, but I hope that's okay. So the cover minder is the one uh, from Rachel Ray that I bought. And why I had my ruler here it's because I use that when I'm cutting sections open, the covers. And on this diamond painting, I'm working on small sections, not big ones like I did on Arya Stark. And here I'm at the end of uh, the first row at the top of this diamond painting. So that's why I'm not using the, the cover minder. <coughs> I bring out my tools. So this is uh, my Victoria's Moon. And I have to say I love it. Yeah, I'm not disappointed at all. Um, I finished Arya Stark like two weeks ago. Um, I'd run out of some drills. And the seller, Sophie's Home Beauty Store, or Sophie's Beauty Home Store, uh, has agreed to send me some new, uh, send me the missing drills, and they're on their way, so that's really cool. Um, so, last week I started. The diamond painting I started off the f you know like way back in the summer it's my first square and I ordered it from a Swedish company and the drills were so awful in one color so I asked them to send me which they did the customer service were awesome so I went back to that because I wanted to finish I had done more than half, but then I realized that it wasn't just that one color that was bad, it was more or less all of them, and it wasn't fun anymore, the diamond paint. So I just felt like I don't ever want to do this again. And it made me kind of sad because I have invested quite a lot in different kits that I really want to do. Um, so, yeah, I just felt like it's time to move on to an another hobby. And, yeah, since I'm trying, you know, I'm new in the diamond painting community and I want, you know, to be a part of it. It, it everything just felt like uh, a failure, yeah, a failure. And I felt felt like, yeah, burnt out on diamond painting. I know I wasn't, but that was the feeling. 
So I just put it off uh, and started, you know, spending some time with watercoloring. And I thought maybe it's time to start cross stitching again. And um, yeah, I just felt like I'm never ever gonna diamond paint again. Oh, this is another thing about uh, the kit I'm working on is um, Victoria's Moon, the lion. And if I remember, I will put up a picture for you. Or you can see it in the thumbnail and the intro. But yeah, the glue on these kits are awesome. I like when it sticks, but when I miss that round training circle, I want to push the drill a little bit. And that's kind of hard. Otherwise, I love it. Uh, and by the way, this is the kit that Victoria's Moon sent to me to review. It's a 50 by 70. And I know that... Uh, some people, I think it was Rachel Ray that talked about the size of the diamond painting kits uh, that were given to. Oh, Jesus, I'm, I'm not awake. Um, that a Victorious Moon provided for the YouTubers. Uh, and the second one she was to choose weren't allowed to be bigger than 50 centimeters and she didn't understand because the other time she could choose something bigger and there's quite a few of the creators out there who has chosen a bigger kit but I would just like to say that I'm also one of the ones who had restrictions on what to choose size and they had chosen kits I wasn't allowed to choose from any but there were plenty to choose between and a 50 by 70 for me, that's that's quite okay with the uh, review size. I want to be able to finish it as well. So maybe they changed after a while. Because what I understand, they sent out kits to quite a lot of people. So maybe that's why they've decided to make some restrictions. I don't know. Anyway, I'm happy with this. Um, yeah, so uh, I got a comment from one of my new followers. And I think it's Cal, actually, who mentioned, uh, who commented on this. Um, but uh, don't email me if I uh, said the wrong name. It's one of the new followers, which I'm very, very glad I got some new followers. Um, yeah, she, she told me, you know, just, just set the one aside that you don't feel like doing, just put it on hold and start something else. So you enjoy, you know, do doing what you do. And once she said that, I was like, yeah, I shouldn't feel, you know, bad about not completing something that is unfortunately such bad quality. So I brought out my Victorious Moon. I had kitted it uh, this up before. I have a video on that if you want to watch. Um, and started diamond painting and oh my god. It was so fun and I have a hard time stopping now. And what's so awesome about it, and this has nothing to do with Victoria's Moon, is just going from squares to round. Holy moly, what a difference. What a difference. You know, when you do squares, you know, you have to twist them around to get them kind of straight. And then you have to, you have to press kind of hard when you gonna push push them in place and stuff well at least I do and you have to do the checker pattern and everything if you have color blockings I do anyway and uh, 
this goes so much faster what a difference and it's I don't like round more I don't the, I like the result of squares a lot more I like the clicking and all that but from sometimes you know you want to work fast you just want to enjoy the process that don't you know and then round is really really nice so thank you for the comment and I'm back in the saddle and I'm enjoying this and I'm enjoying how different it feels I'm sorry I'm gonna sneeze <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah. So, let's talk a little bit about this kit. Um, I will try to remember to link the unboxing as well. I was very happy with my unboxing. And with the kitting up. I have this... Uh, bag with the, the round um, containers and I've just put the color number with stickers I ordered from AliExpress and to me this works very fast so I'm happy 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 and I got one of these pens um, with the kit from Victoria's Moon and I like it. I don't like this end of it. I use this when I'm I I've missed the drill and I'm sticking that one down in the container just to grab some some pearls to place fast. But the other end, I love it. Especially I haven't tried it with, with uh, squares, but with the rounds. It's really nice. You get a very nice and clear view where to put your drills. So I love this pen. Uh, the downside with the pen, and I think I've had that problem with all my pens. The wax ends up. I'm using up the wax very fast in the pens, even in this pen. And even in, you know, the pens you get for your kids. Um, so I don't know if it has to do with the pen. I mean, it, it is very thin. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying out the wax from Diamond Art Club. Because I've heard that's good wax. I don't know. But that that's the only thing. I, I love I love the pen. So I usually load this one and this one and then I go. So highly recommend this pen. Uh, the round drills, I, I didn't choose square drills because I've heard in reviews that some people weren't too happy about the drills. And I know myself from experience that Square drills could be a problem from different co from some companies. I'm not saying all. And uh, so I decided on a round one, and I'm happy I did, because I'm enjoying it so much, and th they're really shiny. Um, um, the drills th they're not perfect. Uh, some of them are a little bit bigger, some of them are a little bit smaller, but to me, this is fine, really. Uh, they're covering that black circle, you know, that black training circle. And that's also a thing I don't like with the, with the kit. It's nice to have some kind of training wheel to know where to exactly place the drills to get them straight. I totally get that. But when you miss that circle by, you know, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit and you get that black line just beside the edge of the drill. You can't notice on the dark background like I'm painting now. Uh, 
but where there's lighter drills or if I had chosen a winter scene then that would be a problem you would really 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 have to spend some time making sure to place your drill straight right on top of that black circle so you won't notice unless you maybe you know watch you study the painting up close so I'm looking forward to try a kit where there are no training wheels to see if I'm able to place the kit the, the drills straight enough symbols are very nice and clear I cannot complain about that um, yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to get to the next row to get to the lion's face and see you know uh, how it's gonna look um, and I'm glad it it goes kind of fast for me it's it's kind of fast uh, I'm working this fast so if I weren't spending any time on my other hobbies like the inktober I'm doing uh, I am sure I would work even faster so but now I understand why some people work they're diamond painting so fast especially if they're round drills so yeah yeah did i forget anything about this i'm still recommending this company i haven't had any bad experience so far um So what else? Yeah, I mentioned Inktoberite. So it's the 28th today. So there's uh, just a few days left and I have actually finished the challenge. I did at some point, I think it was last week where I had some places to be. It was a bit difficult, you know, to make the drawing and filming and time-lapse and editing and all this but so then I felt like well it's not worth it let's just end it uh, but I kept going so I only have like three days left and I, I cannot imagine I can't believe that I have that I've actually sketched something every day for a whole month I never thought I would be able to, f you know, figure something out to draw, first of all, that would, you know, connect to the, to the word from the prompt list. But, um, yeah, so far so good. And there's a few, not all of them. I'm not happy with a lot of them. And some are just fast sketching just to get it over with. But some of them I put a little bit more time to. Um, some more time in it. And I'm very pleased with. So. And what I also want to, you know, kind of point out that you don't have to be. You know, it's okay to be new at stuff and share that as well with people because a lot of times we see videos on youtube where people are just awesome and not beginners and you know you kind of think that if you do what they're doing in the video it's going to end up just as 
great as their pieces and it's not because they have trained for years and years and years and another one is just starting out and sometimes you know when it's time lapse like I've also done it looks like it goes so fast and it's easy to do but some stuff actually takes quite a lot of time so yeah but anyway I'm, I'm happy I've I've done the challenge and now I don't think I'm gonna well I'm not gonna film anything uh, but the important thing is that I don't stop sketching that I kind of keep on going so I have to find some way of you know sketching out small things and I've mentioned it before that I want to combine the sketching and the watercoloring so that's that's what I'm aiming for anyway let's change pen yeah and if I'm doing it next year no if I'm doing it next year I think maybe I would like to sketch a bird every day or something something like that but at this point no I don't like that pressure I put on myself So what else? Yeah. Um, I want to get back into my cross stitching a little bit. I want to do some kind of cross stitch work every week. I think I mentioned that also in my last video, in my last whip and chat. Um, yeah just not to just i think if i focus on just one hobby for a long period very intensely then i will you know get bored and switch i want to try to get some kind of mix so i've ordered um some uh what do you call that patterns yeah patterns and a kit I hope there's materials in one of the kits I'm gonna go get the pattern because it's time to restart the camera anyway and show you yep <clears throat> I'm not gonna talk too much about cross stitching because I was thinking of doing that in another video but like I know we're zoomed in, but this is, you know, uh, a pattern which I found. I thought I ordered a kit, but then I th it was kind of cheap, so I understand why. And I've been looking for these kinds of patterns that has an old feeling to it. And it's squirrels, you know, oh, see them there? I don't know if you're in. Yeah. Anyway, so. I've ordered um, a hand-dyed fabric for it and then I'm just gonna pick after I get um, uh, what is it? after I get the fabric I'm gonna order uh, the floss I have a complete a complete set, but um, I um, you're just gonna use one uh, color for for that pattern. So I think I'm gonna need like eight skeins or something. So then it's better just to make a com one order, and when you just need <laughs> like 
uh, for skins is it's no big problem ordering them in Sweden. They cost like uh, a dollar at least. One and a half dollars sometimes. Yep, for one skin. So when you're doing a heaven and earth <laughs> and you need, for me when I'm doing my max color expansions, you need at least a skin a pe uh, a color. And there is like 230 colors, so you need at least 230 skins. And you, yeah, that's $238 at least just for the thread. Yep. So I put some washi tape on the sticky edges. <coughs> yeah. Where did I get my pen to go? There. Um, yeah, so I ordered fabric for that. But then Rachel Ray, she's talking about this Harry Potter stitch along. And I love Harry Potter. And then I started reading about this stitch along and I was like, damn, <laughs> I'm enabled. I have to do it. Yep, so I ordered some hand-dyed fabric for that as well. Oh my god, I'm looking forward to get this. Uh, and I've ordered, uh, I think it's a kit. But it's also one of the diamond painters or crofters in one of, I think it was, in um, Ray to Race and uh, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee's uh, Facebook group. I think it was there. I'm not sure. But somebody posted a cross stitch pattern or if she had finished it, I don't remember, of, of a moose face, a, a cartoon moose. And up in his horns, he has like a village with houses and some smoke coming out of the chimneys. And I just fell in love with that kid and she told me where to look for it. So I've ordered one of those kits and I'm waiting, 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 waiting to get it. So those are things I'm planning on working on my, my floss tube, as I think. Yes, it's going to be a floss tube on my channel as well. And I am a cross street skit. Ugh cross stitcher from many years back so there's a lot of things I don't know but I know a lot and I feel comfortable with it uh, so it's that and of course my heaven and earth and at the moment on my frame I have Gordon Fitchell's uh, Grandmaster think it's the Grand Monster. I don't think it's the Grand Monster 2. It's a super size and it is max color. Yeah. And I am extreme cross country stitching it. Yes. Yeah. And then my watercolors, I've started making the swatches of all the colors show you fast how that looks these are different swatches of my color palette I've chosen or I've been inspired to choose and looking how messed up these are I realize how untrained I am with the watercolor but we're going to change that and I just made some playing around with some leftovers when I made my swatches and that doesn't look too bad I think I love it anyway that gives me peace when I watch how the watercolors you know, just paint for you. I love that. But also, I'm very intimidated 
with it because I'm not, you know, completely sure what I'm doing and how I'm doing stuff. And I want to be more in control of what I'm painting and how I'm painting it and understanding the different, you know, ways and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Um... We had an in interesting day at work uh, this Thursday. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm working as a secretary at the hospital. So we had, there's a new uh, software coming in a few years, which will change It will change everything, I think, uh, and especially for us secretaries, we need to start working, do, you know, stuff in a different way. I, I can't really explain how, but um, we work in all kinds of different software programs uh, where you have, you know, the journal where we write one program where you you know you pick up the file where the doctor is you know have recorded what he's saying and we have a program where we book uh, you know the the visits and the appointments and all this so everything and there there's a lot of programs one program for you know, uh, x-ray and one for, uh, where the children, uh, the birth, where they're giving birth and stuff like that. Anyway, um, so we're getting a program in a few years where all these programs are working. No. We're getting one program which is covering all those programs right um and it's going to be very different for example we spend a lot of time now you know writing what the doctors uh, records when they see the patients and they say that that's going to change so when the doctor can just talk straight into the program so we don't have to type type it so that means that we need to do something else because that we spend a lot of time doing that. So we need to learn new stuff to do. So that's very interesting. So we had some, those people who are uh, working with that program were there to talk and tell us about stuff. And yeah, it was interesting for me who works in that business. And, um, Afterwards, um, our bosses uh, invited us out for dinner, all of us, and bowling and another game called shuffling, and that was that was very nice. But the thing is, I don't, I don't understand really. You know, we were there at five o'clock. And we were having dinner first. And just when everyone was finished with dinner, it was like seven o'clock. And then the bosses had made sure, you know, to rent all the bowling lanes so we could bowl and we could, and the shuffleboard so we could shuffle. But I mean, more than half of the people went home at seven. No one stayed. And I was like, yeah, 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 we're going to play, we're going to win. And I was challenging, challenging people. And people went home. <laughs> so I had one game of shuffle. And yeah, 
then the, I was not drinking. I usually don't do that. Uh, so I offered people ride home. Uh, some of my friends there. So then they wanted to go home because, yeah, I was off work the next day, but they weren't. So I guess they wanted to go home. Because everyone was getting up the next day. Well, it was... It was... Uh, yeah, sad. Disappointing that everyone, like, went home. So... Yeah. Otherwise, it was very nice and very interesting day. And it was nice that our work our bosses actually invited us out and we didn't have to pay anything so that was very nice so but now i'm home with my daughter and yeah i, I know you guys in the u.s uh celebrate halloween we don't do that in sweden we have like All Saints evening, I think it was called. Uh, on the night between the 30th and the 1st. The 30th of October and the 1st of November. And we usually get some candles and grave decorations and go to the graveyards. And put it on the graves to remember our lost ones. Um, but we're actually gonna go on a, oh, what do you call that? A spook, spooky, oh, we're going to a place where, you know, you're walk, walking around a building and, you know, people are gonna scare you and stuff for kids. We're doing it for kids. So I'm hoping it's not going to be too scary. We're going to do that and we're going to go see the Adams Family, the new animated video. No, not video. Uh, the new animated film in the movies. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. And yesterday I also took my daughter for the movies, but we, it wasn't a children's movie. It was a drama. And it's the first time she goes on a movie for grown-ups and yeah it, it was a Swedish movie and it was based on a famous famous uh, comedian artists book and it's a really good book. It's about growing up in Sweden. I think it's it's in the 70s, 60s, 60s or 70s. And yeah, bullying and how that affects you in your grown up age and how you react when you're facing those people again who treated you bad and it's a very very good movie and of course you guys can't see it because it's a Swedish movie but uh, it was very nice and it was very nice to actually go see it together with my daughter because she has been bullied in her old school but she changed school right so it's all good now. It's all good. Yeah. A very emotional video. No, not video. Film. Jesus. I'm like, YouTube video, YouTube video. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, my God, I'm working up this fast I think and I'm sure there is a lot of you people out there who's even even faster 
but this is fast to me. This is very relaxing because you don't have to think that much about how you place the thrills. Not too much anyway. And they're round and just, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned that. And that again has nothing to do vic with uh, Victoria's Moon. This is like all around drill kits. It's the, the, the space between uh, the round drills. I don't like that at all. Either you have to, you know, first of all, it needs to be the color close to the color of um, the drills. Let me see if I can. It's Monday, so just close the door. It's Monday, so people are again working outside like they usually do yeah and they're using machines so that's the background noise you're hearing um yeah either you know the background needs to be a color which is very similar to the drills you're placing but the thing is that there is glue in between those in those empty spaces and like so many of you I have dogs I've shown you my dogs pictures of my dogs and especially the small one Billy he's really shedding and you know we have his hair hair everywhere and it adds, ends up here on the canvas as well and yeah, that, that's really annoying. That's sad. I don't like that. And I don't know. I think even if I would seal this thing, uh, the dog hair would, you know, get stuck while that sealing is drying as well. I don't know. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, but again, I think that goes for all the round kits. But I'm not gonna, well, maybe I'm gonna frame this because it's a good size to frame. So maybe. Mm. But I mean, yeah, no, it's the process that is uh, enjoyable. I'm not gonna give it away to anyone. Uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> roll it up and put it aside and bring out the next one and just enjoy because this is this is what I call enjoying uh, diamond painting you have a good pen you have good drills you have a nice pattern with a lot of wonderful colors and you don't have to think and you have a good organization with your drills and yeah, it's just enjoyable. So yeah, I think I'm going to call it a day. I don't want to make the whip and chat too long. Uh, I want to thank all my new subscribers and viewers. Um, I know you're not many, but I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and if any of you have any question, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you're watching this whip and chat for the first time. Because then I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.